And you know, there's actually there's no offense known as a, in the law, in law, in Aito Magi. It is robbery violence. And robbery violence is a capital offense, civil. Sasa would have to tell to tell to mutu ambe ame commit robbery violence. To tell Mbeleza, hey, ni kudil da hey kabisa kabisa. Atu takubali wasumbue watu na Nairobi. Gavana na sikia atu takubali. Nam niko katika makao makuu ya polisi jijini Nairobi Jogo House na dakika chache zilizopita Inspector General wa polisi aliyeapishwa juzi Jafeth Koome wamemaliza kuhutubia wanahabari na gavana wa Nairobi Johnston Sakaja na wametoa onyo kali kwa yale magenge yanayomiliki bunduki kinyume na sheria kuzirejesha chini ya mwezi moja. Jafeth Koome na gavana wa Nairobi Johnston Sakaja wameapa kuwa kwa ushirikiano watakabiliana na magenge hayo na watarejesha usalama katika jiji la Nairobi. Tumeongea mengi tumeweka strat, eh, eh, mipango strat, eh, strategies kadhaa ambazo singependa kusungumuza hapa I would not like to compromise eh, the strategies we have put in place because we have a friendly and non-friendly forces uh, listening. But um, out of our discussion this afternoon, the governor of the city of Nairobi, I will tell you the assurance is there. Those mothers, and you know, there's actually there's no offense known as uh, in the law, in law, in Aito Magi. It is robbery violence. And robbery violence is a capital offense, civil. Sasa unafikita tuta mutu wa mbewa mekomit robo revolence, utapembeleza ye, ni kudili da ye kabisa kabisa, atu takubali wasumbue watu wa Nairobi. Gavana nasikia, atu takubali. We are going to use all means at our disposal to ensure those out there, young people, because of peer pressure, ujinga peer pressure, Alangalia yule, nataka kuendesha kari kama hiyo, nataka kudunua suti kama hiyo, na sisi sote ni tofauti, anaenda kufanya ukora. He may not live to see tomorrow. I'm not threatening anybody, but I'm putting things as they are. are. Kile tumesema, natuko na e, 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 governor amesema, ata yeye kabisa aruhusu, awesi ruhusu na ata kubali kutetea mkora yote yako pale inji. Mutu ambaye ata, anafikiria atakimbia kwa gavana wakati anafukuzo na polisi is being pursued by police atakimbia kwa gavana tulete siyasa kwa, kwa mambo ya polisi gavana metuambia apana. Yure ni mkora audumiwe kama mkora. Gavana amesema kuna vijana kadhaa kadha, kuna vijana wengi wanatuma ujumbe kwake wakimweleza tuko na bunduki tuko na bunduki na tungepeana kupeana tungependa kupeana kwa polisi tumekubaliana kwa um kutano wetu leo hawa vijana tumewapatia mwezi moja. tumekubali tuwapatia mwezi moja. hiyo bunduki uko nayo ambaye is illegal you are unlawfully holding that fire. Huko na hiyo bunduki kusumbua wananchi wetu watukufu. Hiyo bunduki rudisha kwetu. Hawa natuma ujumbe kwa governor. Governor anajua amekubali kutu, kutueleza ndiyo tuko hiyo bunduki. Tumepeana mwezi moja. Na sisi tumesema yeyote ambaye ana tisha wananchi anaweka woga kwa wananchi kutembea na visu huyo tutamhudumia maofisa wetu kama vile nilisema juzi tumewafunza kule Kiganjo na college yetu ya Embakasi zote mbili njia kutumia bunduki imeelezo vizuri kwa kisheria kwa sheria wakati polisi anaruhusiwa kutumia bunduki Sasa kama unatembea na kisu, unatembea na bunduki, apana. Bunduki si simu unatembea nayo, hiyo ni ya kudhuru mwingine.
Kwa hivyo tutakushughulikia vile tutakia na kisheria. Our officers we have told them to be humane, friendly, treat our people with dignity. But anybody trying to cause trouble tukubaliane na wenzetu. Sisi sote tunataka kuishi na tufurahie kuishi. About the gospel. That can never happen. That can never happen. Is that is a serious serious offense to any any officer. We swore back in the college to serve every part of this country and um, I remember saying, right, our loyalty to this country must not be at any time in question. Kwa hivyo, maofisa wetu wote, inchi mzima, ni kundumia wana inchi, hakuna kitu kama goso. Na uyota na thubutu hayo, siya taenda tu ataigia kwa shida. We are very professional service, incidentally. I, I want to I, I think our people should know that. Very professional service. We are rated highly uh, worldwide. Already I'll tell you, go back to, to National Police Service Act. The service is under the command, control, direction. Is instructed by the Inspector General. And I'm not commanded, you know, I don't get instruction from, from another quarter. So I'm in charge. I'm in control. And I've told my officers to find a case kulingana na sheria ya nchi hii. Si tutaheshimu sheria. Mambo ya unajua si taruhusu mimi niko kule nje uko na mushare unataka kuni tupie huo mushare nitakuwa mjinga vipi na niko na pastora ningoje uniue. It, it depends on who is faster than and since our officers are very well trained, in most of the instances they are very fast. So, my two Mushare, when I talk to the officer, Utaenda, Utatangulia, Uko Wende Pali, Utaenda Mushore, like you Utatangulia. There's no compromise. We cannot compromise the stability of this country. It can't happen. Wherever it is, we have a duty, we have a job to do. And we are very firm about this. Same. That is what we are telling your officers. Munajua sharia, wachunga walinda inchi yao, must be patriotic. We have a beautiful country. Indeed, security is a national function, but it is a shared responsibility. The county will do its part. We have agreed on the steps that we will take as a county government, including um, setting up the county policing uh, uh, authority, including the traffic and safety authority um, committee that should be meeting, because we've had too many people doing different things and working in silos. We all serve the same people, and I'm glad that that is the spirit I found here, that we all care about the safety and security of the five million plus people of Nairobi, as well as our, our visitors who come to see us in this uh, great county. And so there are a lot of changes we've discussed that uh, will come out later um, through the proper channels. There are a lot of interventions you will see we have cameras in the, in, the, in, the, in the county. We have surveillance uh, efforts that we are doing together. We have our enforcement officers in the county government who will work hand in hand with the police officers. And so we are telling our young people or those who might be involved in the recent spate of crime, please, for your own good, desist from it. I think you have been told in advance. I said it yesterday and I'm repeating today. As a county government and as a political leader, ours is to provide opportunities. We will provide opportunities. We will provide opportunities for business. We have our teachers, colleges. We will provide opportunities to help the private sector employ you. But please, the two things that we will not agree on, and I'm very happy the IG has reiterated what I told them. I have told my members of parliament, I have told my MCS, the two people I will never protect is one who is involved in crime and one who is involved in illegal dumping. Because also, we have a responsibility to clean our city. We are doing our part, but people are being allowed 
to dump in places they are not supposed to. So on those two things, hapo tutakosana ama tutakuwa marafiki, depending on how you deal with those. So without going into much more detail, to assure the people of Nairobi that with our new IG, with the DIGs we've had, with the new DCI, and of course with your new governor, this city will have order. We will not sleep, we will not rest until you are able to sleep at home peacefully, until you are able to rest, until you can walk freely. We don't want our ladies clutching their bags in town because of fear of being mugged. So I want to thank you for being receptive. Thank you for your ideas. We have confidence as Nairobians. IG has served in Nairobi. He's been OCPD in Central. He's been in Buruburu. He has been uh, in the, for many years. And the leaders who I was with earlier in the day have a lot of confidence in you. So I want to reiterate that confidence. And I want to assure people of Nairobi we will not let you down. Yeah. Um, as you've said, our work is to create opportunities um, for our young people. Of course, we have redesigned the program, Kazi Mtani. We are no longer doing Kazi Mtani, but we are starting a greening program together with the KFS and the national government. Um, and these young people will be able to work for four days in a week, get around 2,500 shillings, and put it in something meaningful. So we are looking for those opportunities. But also, you know, you must tell the young people, not having a job is not an excuse to be a criminal. There are also very many people out there who have no job, but they're not criminals, you know. So we're doing our best. We're dealing with the issue of the lights in the city. We're lighting up uh, the whole of the city to make sure that Yakuna uh, Mali, Kuna Giza, Tumezungumza na Kenya Power. Some of our areas in the county had the transformers removed. We're restoring them um, because there have been the issue of illegal connections. We have very many ways of dealing with that. We've cleared some of the bridges where, you know, uh, some of these criminal activities are being harbored. Diana Muliniona, Nikiwa Landis Road, Mudurwa, Jogo Road. So we are doing our part. Niki report ya Ayo TV kutoka Jogo House makao makuu ya polisi jijini Nairobi. Jina langu ni Ronald Sang.